With everything that's been going on since George Floyd was murdered, I hear all on the right how people are saying, police have the most dangerous job in America. Well, I'm making this video because that's not actually true. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the police are not even in the top 10. You know, they're not even in the top 15. So let's find out where police fall and if actually they have the most dangerous job in America. So according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, police fall at number 16 most dangerous jobs in America with a fatal injury rate per 100,000 workers of 13. Number 15 is first line supervisor of mechanics, installers, and repairers. Their fatal injury rate is 15 out of 100,000 workers. Number 14, construction trade helpers. Their fatal injury rate per 100,000 workers is 15. Number 13, more dangerous job than being a police officer is agriculture workers. So those people out there picking strawberries, picking watermelons, their job is more dangerous than the police where they have a fatal injury rate per 100,000 workers of 18. Number 12 is grounds maintenance workers. So the guys out there mowing the golf course have a more dangerous job than police officers. Their fatal injury rate per 100,000 workers is 18. Uh, number 11 is electrical power line installers and repairers. Their fatal injury per 100,000 workers is 19. The number 10 most dangerous job in America is first line supervisors of landscaping, lawn service, and groundskeeping workers. So mowing the lawn, doing landscaping, is more dangerous than being a police officer. And that's fatal injury rate is 20. Number nine, first line supervisors of construction trades and extraction workers. Their fatal injury rate is 21. The number eight most dangerous job in America, structural iron and steel workers, with a fatal injury rate of 23. Number seven, most dangerous job in America, farmers, ranchers, and other agriculture managers. Being on a farm, working on a ranch, is more dangerous than being a police officer, with a fatal injury rate of 24. The number six most dangerous job in America, driver, sales workers, and truck drivers. So if you are a truck driver, which I have been, my job was more dangerous than being a police officer with a fatal injury rate of 26. The number five, a garbage man. Being a garbage man is more dangerous than being a police officer with a fatal injury rate of 44 per 100,000 workers. Number four, another job that I did, being a roofer is more dangerous than being a police officer with a fatal injury rate of 51. The number three most dangerous job in America, aircraft pilots and flight engineers with a fatal injury rate of 58. The number two most dangerous job in America, being a commercial fisher. It actually is the most deadly catch with a fatal injury rate of 77. And the number one most dangerous job in America, a logging worker with a fatal injury rate of 97. So as you can see, 
police officers do not even fall within the top 15 or even the top 10. They are number 16. So we have to dispel this crazy myth that police officers and being a cop is the most dangerous job in America. So for a more in-depth look, let's look into actual statistics of police officers killed in the year 2019. So we have the FBI 2019 statistics on law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty. So felonous deaths. There were 48 cops killed what is called felonous deaths last year in 2019 according to the FBI. These cops died in 19 states and Puerto Rico. The number of officers killed as a result of criminal acts in 2019 was eight less than the 56 officers who were felonously killed in 2018. So, of these officers who were killed, 45 were male, three were female, 40 were white, seven were black, African American, one was Asian. These are the circumstances. 15 died as a result of investigation or law enforcement activities. Six were conducting traffic violation stops. Four were performing investigative activities. Two were drug-related matters. Two were interacting with wanted persons. One was investigating suspicious persons or circumstances. Nine were involved in tactical situations. And out of these nine, three were barricaded hostage situations, three were serving or attempting to serve search warrants, two were serving or attempting to serve arrest warrants, and one was reported in the category titled Other Tactical Situations. Five were involved in unprovoked attacks, four were responding to crimes in progress, two were robberies, one was theft, and one was reported in the category titled Other Crime Against Property. Three were involved in arrest situations where they were trying to restrain, control, handcuff the offender during an arrest situation. Three were assisting other law enforcement officers. Two were vehicle pursuits. One was the foot pursuit. Three were responding to disorders or disturbances. Two were responding to disturbances such as fights. And one was responding to domestic violence call. You know, I always think that's crazy. They always talk about domestic violence calls are the most dangerous. Last year, one officer was killed doing that. Three were involved in vehicular pursuits. Two were ambushed. And one was serving an attempt to serve a court order. Out of all these killings, 34 were slain with handguns, seven with rifles, one with a shotgun, and two with firearms in which the type of firearms was unknown or not reported. 27 officers were killed in the South, nine in the Midwest, nine in the West, one in the Northeast, and two in Puerto Rico. Out of those who killed the officers, 36 of the assailants had prior criminal arrests. 12 of the offenders were under judicial supervision at the time of the felonious incident. And then we have accidental deaths. You have a lot of officers that die accidentally. 38 were male, 3 were female, 39 were white, and 2 were black. 19 died as a result of motor vehicle crashes. 18 while operating cars, SUVs, trucks, or vans. 1 while operating an ATV or motorcycle. 16 were pedestrian officers struck by vehicles. 3 were killed in firearm related incidents. And they always make that like a big deal that they're so scared of people with cops or with guns. Only 3 were killed in firearm related incidents two drowned, and one died in the category of an other type of duty-related accident where he was struck by a tire while assisting a motorist. And a lot of these officers died just because they weren't wearing seatbelts. Of the 18 officers killed in motor vehicle crashes while operating cars, SUVs, trucks, or vans, nine were wearing seatbelts and six were not. So they should have been wearing seatbelts. A few could have died, a few less could have died. 
And so that is the 2019 law enforcement officers that were killed in the United States. So as you see, there's this big myth that surrounds cops, like they're out there and they're just at any moment can just die, die, die. And it's not true. It's not true. The statistics prove that it's not true. Cops like to inflate their ego that they have the most dangerous job in the world. They don't. It's a lie. And the FBI's own statistics show that what we hear about, oh, the domestic calls are the most dangerous. Last year, only one officer died during a domestic violence call. Only one. And so that shows you more officers were killed because they weren't wearing a seatbelt than died by domestic responding to a domestic disturbance. So cops need to realize that they're not supermen, they're not God, they're not Jesus, they're just people. They have a job that's no more dangerous than a guy out there roofing a house. And actually the guy roofing the house, his job is more dangerous. So this is David, Zoe Zizzles. Have a great day. Bye.